After the successful attack, I showed what the captured Russian positions looked like. It was an important dominant point at the intersection of landings, its capture made it possible to liberate two large fields at once, and significantly improved Ukraine's position in general. The fighting there was fierce and prolonged. Ukrainians opened fire on a tank convoy 23.3 miles behind Russian enemy lines in the village of Haladkivka, in the Kherson region. Another incursion by Ukraine reached as far as 60.3 miles inside Russian-occupied territory. Ukrainian defense forces destroyed an invincible and most modern Russian T-90M breakthrough tank in the occupied part of the left bank of Kherson. Today, the attention of many people is focused on the left bank of the Kherson region, where the Ukrainian armed forces repulsed this part of Ukrainian lands from Russian invaders. The T-90M breakthrough tank in Russia is the latest development in the Russian defense industry. But fighting in Ukraine showed the weakness of this technique. In early May 2022, such a tank was destroyed in the Kharkiv region, near Saltivka. This is how the Kharkiv Taro Barona fighters were defeated. In the Bakhmut direction, Russian troops had switched from defense to attack for two weeks. They are trying to regain lost positions. Over the past day, the defense forces have successfully repelled 11 attacks by Russian invaders. These are Klishchivka, Andrivka, and Kromiv, said Fikyo. In this video, we will show the remains of a destroyed Russian T-72 and two BMP-2s, so not only was our equipment blown up there, but Russian equipment was also completely destroyed there. Russia has lost more than 1,000 troops and 30 tanks in a single day of fighting in Ukraine, according to new figures. Even though the Russian troops used modern artillery, it is suspected that they used old-style artillery patterns. Over the past five months, Russia has been very active in using old-style artillery. On the other hand, clashes that continue to occur near the city of Abdivka are increasing in intensity. Russia has deployed thousands of troops since October 10, as well as tanks and armored vehicles, in an effort to capture the city. According to information, Russian troops in their attack used the Storm and Storm Z unit, which consists of newly mobilized units. Ukraine says Russia recently assembled about 40,000 troops for a new offensive on the city. The Ukrainian general staff reported that Kyiv forces had repulsed more than 20 Russian attacks near Avdivka. Moscow forces reportedly suffered heavy losses in men and equipment. As previously reported by Ukrainform, from February 24, 2022, to November 26, 2023, the Ukrainian Defense Forces eliminated 324,830 Russian invaders, including 1,070 in the last 24 hours. Fighting in recent weeks has been particularly fierce in areas where Ukrainian troops are advancing in the Kherson and Zaporizhia regions, as well as around the town of Abdivka in Donetsk, where Moscow troops are advancing. A Russian military officer also gave an interview to Russian media outlet RTVI this week and said Ukraine had so far been successful in repelling Russian attacks on Abdivka. They completely resisted our attack on Abdivka military officer Roman Sapinkov said in the interview. The Ukrainian military continues to carry out defenses in the direction of Avdiv, to destroy the invaders and their equipment. This was announced by the commander of Osu, Tavria, Alexander Tarnovsky. This was Russia's third major attack on the Avdivka invaders, the first enemy attack here began on the 10th of October. 
Russian troops constantly attacked the city and, despite defeats, Meanwhile, Russia's lost main battle tanks account for 15% of its inventory. The percentage of active platforms figure is likely higher, as Russia is also potentially unable to effectively replace more modern equipment lost on the battlefield. Western military experts estimate the losses were caused by advanced anti-tank weapons that Western countries provided to Ukraine and Russia's poor strategy in deploying its tanks. However, it is reported that Russia has recently adopted new tactics to approach Ukrainian positions in Avdivka. This Ukrainian and Russian war is often compared to World War I. A spokesman for the Ukrainian 110th Separate Mechanized Brigade said that on the Avdivka front, the Russians had already started using tunnel digging tactics. They were digging tunnels near our positions. Firstly, this helps with concealment. Second, they could then suddenly appear near our position. However, while a massive ground attack led by Russian infantry would likely pose a significant threat to Ukrainian forces defending in the Avdivka direction it would not lead to a rapid Russian advance in the region. As quoted by Ukrainska Pravda, a Ukrainian online newspaper, in fact, during the month of active attacks on Avdivka, the Russian army lost about 10,000 troops, more than 100 tanks, and a number of artillery pieces.